Many of you may remember an old game called Theme Hospital, an award-winning game released in 1997. It was originally developed by Bulldog Productions for use on MS-DOS and Windows 95 PCs. However, a year later, it was ported over to PlayStation 1 after its commercial success, selling over 4 million copies worldwide. <coughs> I, for one, loved this game and spent an untold amount of time playing it as a child. And it's even more hilarious listening to the game now. Staff announcement, incoming patients with heaped piles. As there's a lot I wouldn't have understood back then. Well, it's coming back. Two Point Hospital, it's called. And it's made by the original Theme Hospital architects, Mark Webley and Gary Carr. Now under the UK indie team named Two Point Studios. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. For years at Two Point Hospital, it's been our mission to help and to heal. So, when Sega was kind enough to reach out to me about trying the game out first-hand at their London office, I jumped at the chance. So here we are, we're just about to put down our first reception desk on the first level of Two Point Hospital. The graphics are insane, they have improved it so much but they've still kept that classic style, which I love. Great, we'll need an assistant to run your reception. Let's hire one now. Click the hire button and select assistance to view job applicants. Announcement! It's happening again. Oh, I love the way you can view job applicants on this and there's so much more to look at now. Likes to stay clean and hygienic. Slower pay. Is there a better one? Hygienic, most faces. Okay, most expensive says unmotivated, hangry, and class clown. Um, I think I'll go for Pedro, who's hygienic, but has seen apparently that show, whatever that show is. General practitioner's office. Great, before we officially open, we'll need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner at each stage of diagno di diagnose, diagno di I can't say the word. This is annoying me. Diagnosis. Yes, I did it. Anyway, you get the drift. Um, room building. Everyone knows this. So apparently uh, they need to be a minimum of three times three squares on the floor. You don't have to lock them down two squares. Um, you can set it so that it doesn't click into place and have it how you wish or be a little bit more creative with it. Okay. This is Ricky Hawthorne Ooh. on Two Point Radio. Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne bringing talk, music and news to the whole of Two Point County. And if you're listening to us from the newly opened hospital, just turn up that volume because nothing drowns out the sound of sick people <laughs> like the voice of a world-class DJ. That's Coming brilliant. up next, 42 hours of music from the background band. Enjoy. The background band. Pretty good touch, I think that they've added that, as well as having the Tannoy person. The Tannoy person was hilarious as it was. But I'm really liking this radio guy. Gotta decorate your offices properly. I like all the little uh, extras you can add now and unlock. Doctor Who? Okay, let's hire a doctor. What we got? Okay, so let's have a look at the cheapest one. Class clown can't operate the telescope they were given. Entertains people with their sweet dance moves. Messy, grumpy. Nearly got to the top of 
pointy mountains. Oh, I keep getting tongue tied today. Unhygienic. Knows where the party's at. But $35,000 for an unhygienic doctor? I don't think so. Yeah, I think. I don't know. Oh, decisions. Drops litter all around the hospital. Oh, gosh. Happiness is lower than average. Minus 20% happiness. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely gotta be her. She's the cheapest one as well. Hospital open. Good news. Our hospital is now open for business. Oh, yeah. Let's put some benches in. Zooming and rotating. It's pretty cool. They've kept most of the controls identical, just with a few extra options. Got to put down those benches. All right. I'd say let's fast forward. Pharmacy required. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, grout. Grout is frequently transmitted in bathrooms and modern medication is effective, unlike earlier times when it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. What would you like to do? Should we make them wait? It's gonna cost $3,100. Let's get the patient to wait. More benches. Can never have too many benches. Oh, I love the design style of this game. Look, there's a leaflet stand now. That's so cool. You need more room for the plants, so I'm not keen on that. You used to be able to put the plants almost anywhere, and now you need to make sure that there's like a space for them to stand around it. Gotta remember the fire extinguishers. I need to get used to the um, symbols they have above their head again. Oh, okay, all right, these two guys need a pharmacy. So we definitely need to do the pharmacy. Put some windows in. All right, let's do the door first. Okay, it, it definitely needs a window though. There, there are no windows. Okay. Little cabinet and another plant. Oh, right. Check out all this other stuff that you can unlock though. The radiators aren't unlocked to begin with. You have to actually unlock them later on, and there's different sizes. Alright, let's hire a nurse. Thinks their life is a rom-com, tends to rate things 7 out of 10. Constantly falling in and out of love. Oh, that's not a good trait. That's definitely not a good trait. Unhygienic, has potential, weak bladder, and can't spell their name. That is the cheaper nurse. Doesn't wash their hands either. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for the slightly more expensive one with that. <laughs> Imagine how much they'd be getting wrong if they can't even spell their name. I need to cure one patient. That's all. That's the first quest. Just cu cure the one patient. Well, that's neat. I love how much you can zoom in. Oh, it looks like he's getting the red slushy. I mean, medicine. I really want a slush puppy now, though. Oh, he's cured. Oh yes, patient cured, well done, you've cured your first patient. We've earned some money and the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or a nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others.
what a smashing day for a bit of gardening. I mean, who doesn't like gardening? Yeah, Digging right, up thanks. a bit of soil, sticking your hands in a bit of manure. <laughs> oh, I can almost smell it now. No, oh, wait. The sewage pipes burst again. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, my mistake. Anyway, keep those fingers green. I think we've got our first lightheadedness. These graphics, man. From the makers of Never Blink comes palpitation. A patient the with bed face that requires with a ward for treatment. Of oranges for bed just face. A drop of rocket fuel. Because sleep is for the weak. More two point, more often. This is two point radio. Two point radio. Oh, the room's starting to get really busy. Let's speed it up a ton and see what happens. Oh dear. I believe I have a dead patient on the floor. And it's now a ghost. What the hell? Okay, so this is one of the treatments, or the treatment, shall I say, for lightheadedness. Which we're finally getting to all the tricky stuff now. Just stick another head on him. That'll work, right? Right? Sad news, our first patient death. Patients can die if a treatment fails or if they've been waiting too long and their health deteriorates. The hospital reputation will suffer as a result. So this is new. When a patient dies, sometimes a part of them remains. The most terrifying part, sadly, ghosts. They turn into ghosts. You need a janitor with a ghost capture qualification in order to catch them. Great. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to have a bit of a problem here. There are ghosts everywhere. Oh! Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded one star rating. <laughs> That's one out of a possible three by the Two Point Health Ministry. I have retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate. Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem in trinkets, if you believe that you're capable of more, or alternatively, begin to expand your organization and run before you can walk. <laughs> the choice, as they say, is yours. The ministry has approved the opening of a new hospital in Lower Bullet, really? So basically you get the choice here, you can stay with the hospital you've currently got and try and work it up from being a one star rating to a three star at least, or you can move to the next map or the next hospital straight away. Um, I don't believe you carry over your money but we'll see in a second. Um, I do however believe that you unlock more stuff so I may just wait until I can get three star on here and see what, what happens. Okay, so the awards and yearly review. Let's check this out. <laughs> I love the music.
So I'm actually going to stay on this uh, hospital for a little while, but I'm going to skip ahead until I get to at least two stars. Let's we'll see how it goes. Remember that you are strong and... Treatment is failed. I'm sorry to say, a patient is dead. Another patient dead. I've got ghosts running around. Here's, here's me getting rid of one of the ghosts. Or Janet doing it, shall I say. And we have two star. I think it's time to move on, don't you? Rise and shine, everyone. Okay. And if you happen to be in Lower Bullocks this morning, watch out for the gathering of druids down at Grog Ben's Ring. That's a lot of bass on the voice. In a total coincidence, the town will also pay host to a psychology convention today. Should all work out nicely. Right, so this is the map that you can see all of the different levels from. Um, they've made it a lot nicer than a board game because it used to originally be a board game and you moved a piece on the board game. This one tells you which star is each one, kind of like Overcooked if you've seen the map for the levels on that. Um, so we're going to go to the next one now. This is Lower Bullocks. Okay, ready to go. Welcome to Lower Bullocks. It's a lovely little village with a big problem. A significant proportion of the population believe themselves to be rock stars. There's only one thing that can cure this. Psychiatry. <laughs> only doctors with the psychiatry qualification will be able to diagnose and treat people in the psychiatry room. We've managed to find one, but you should keep your eyes peeled for job applicants with psychiatry and other useful qualifications. Okay then. Alright, so I've got a feeling we should probably speed this up. Let's see how much we can get into this 20 minute video. And see how much of the second level we can show you, if not maybe the third. Okay, so it looks like I've got a decent amount built now. I've got my psychiatry room, I've got two GP offices, I've got a ward, I've got a staff room, a, I've got two GP offices, a chemist. I don't half enjoy zooming in on this game, it's brilliant. The way the characters act with each other, the way they act around their illnesses, it's done so well. Every tiny detail is put in place, even the way they walk. Okay, so you will have these like challenges or quests every now and then that pop up where they'll send a number of people with the same illness uh, to you all at once and you need to try and cure them within the time frame that's given. It can be really hard, especially if you don't have the right staff or the right amount of rooms ready. Um, I've tried it before and I failed, uh, but we'll see how this one goes. Ooh, okay, uh, new illness, Porter said. I think that's how you say it. Okay, so the emergency patients are turning up now and they do have uh, the flashing light bulbs above their head. Or not light bulbs, I would say emergency lights. Okay. Why is it whenever you clip your nails in front of a computer... You should never do that. One of the nails always flies into the cracks... Yep, that's the, the reason keyboard. you should never do that. Does the keyboard feed on them? Oh, wow. I don't know. He's really deep in thought. <laughs> okay, so we've just expanded our hospital as well. We now have another plot next to the main plot that we had on our second level. So we're already expanding on the second level. I have no idea how difficult this is going to be end game, but I can tell you right now it already is quite challenging. Okay, let's see how far we can get. Awards and yearly review. Awards countdown in two, one, zero. Two Point County Healthcare Awards Ceremony. Okay, so um, I suck and get no awards. 
<laughs> it was really, really challenging. That's the two levels I'm going to be showing you. I haven't even completed the second level, but you can see how challenging it is compared to the original one. Um, for those of you who grew up playing this as a child, you're probably going to find that it's not going to be as easy as you remember it to be. And there are so many new things that you need to learn on it that I didn't even get a chance to cover on this video. So there's a lot to look forward to. I can't wait to see how manic it gets. And I'll most certainly be covering this live on my Twitch stream. So if you don't already follow me on Twitch, it's twitch.tv forward slash cyborg angel with one L. And on any social media, so Twitter or Instagram, it's cyborg angel with two L's. Make sure you go follow on there as well and turn on notifications. Um, if you are new to my YouTube and you liked the content today, please make sure that you subscribe, like and comment if you want to see more of my stuff. I will be uploading here often, you're going to be getting a load of edited VODs from my Let's Plays on stream on Twitch. Um, I'm also going to be uploading vlogs and when I go travelling you guys are going to be able to see where I am and what I've been up to. So again, just thank you for even coming over here and remember to subscribe, like and comment if you'd like to see more. See you guys.